Let me go to the Middle East, and then uh, I'm going to comment on a, uh, what would we call him, a late night show? A guy who does a late night show, John Oliver, has talked about the Middle East, and I'm simply going to use his monologue on the Middle East by way of answering a lot of the attacks on Israel. Take a look at uh, John Oliver here, and I will interrupt to make some comments. The citizens of Gaza don't have an Iron Dome to protect them the way that the citizens of Israel do. It's one of the many ways they're at a significant disadvantage. Although, and it's- All right, wait, wait. Therefore what? Notice there is no question about the, the already we have de, literally demoralized the, the whole situation. The citizens of Gaza don't have an iron dome to protect them. To protect them against what? Is Israel shooting rockets all over uh, Gaza like Gaza is, like Hamas is doing to Israel, thousands? Did Israel start the war or did Hamas start the war? You know what? Hitler's Germany didn't have nearly the same defenses to defend Germany as uh, Britain had to defend Britain by the end of World War II. Does that make Hitler a victim? Does that make the Nazis victims? Would he prefer that Israel not have an Iron Dome? And then, and then what? So, in other words, this is part of the left-wing demoralization of morality, that it, the, the weak are necessarily in the right. It's, 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 truly, it's truly pathologic. An Israeli military spokesperson tried to push back on the idea that there's really much of a discrepancy there. Somebody on Twitter said that the Palestinians don't have an Iron Dome. I say yes, they have an Iron Dome. It's called don't fire rockets at Israeli civilians and we won't fire anything at Gaza. That was brilliant. That's exactly right. Their Iron Dome is don't kill us. That's exactly right. This spokesman, and he's going to make fun of it, I assume. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put it up. That spokesman for Israel, was it was so real the, the left loathes the real. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, a, it's a dissection of, of reality. Yes, they have an Iron Dome. Don't try to slaughter us. Make peace with us. That's their Iron Dome. Then, then everything is possible. Here's a question, the only question one has to reflect on. If Israel dropped its arms completely, it just demilitarized, no more army, no more navy, no more air force, no more use of arms, what would happen the next day? And if the Palestinians, no more fighting, no more terror, no more rockets, no more arms, what would happen the next day in that case? Well, we know if Israel did it, the next day they would be genocide of the Jewish people of Israel. Whereas if the Palestinians uh, demilitarized, there would be peace the next day in the Middle East. That's what everyone who, who dares look at reality knows. Israel has no interest in war. Whenever there has been a war in the last 100 years, it has always been between two police states or between a police state and a free state. Never between two free states. They don't fight each other. And whenever there is a free state, police state battle, the police state started the battle. Whether it was Pearl Harbor or the, the, the Nazi invasion of Poland uh, or what is happening now with Hamas. Yeah. But there are a couple of differences. Iron Dome, for one, sounds much cooler. And also, it has the significant advantage Wait, what does of that even mean? Iron Dome sounds cooler than what? It, he talks well and fast, but he doesn't say anything meaningful. Okay, we'll continue. And system that exists, unlike Gaza's, which is mostly try not to be where the bombs are landing. And it's important to note here, the vast majority of the Palestinians in Gaza are not part of Hamas. Okay, so what? Nothing he has, says matters. The vast majority of, of uh, Germans were not Nazis. The vast majority of Russians were not communists. So what? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a meaningless point. Anyway, how does he know what the vast majority of, of people in Gaza, they didn't vote for Hamas? 
I don't know. Maybe they didn't. I, I'm sure the elections are rigged, but maybe they did. How does he know? But the fact that they're not members of Hamas, to the extent that that is true, so what? It's true for every police state. Thank you for watching this video. To help keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.